Hi, this is Craig Summers, naturopath and nutritionist. I'm here with my friends Tommy and Abby Anton. I visited their home and found an industrial grade Hobart water filter. Asked them about it and I want to share the answer that I got from them with you. So tell us guys, why do you have an industrial grade Hobart water filter in your home? We recently found out that our municipal water company switched from chlorines to chloramines to treat the water, to disinfect it. Our understanding is that chloramines are actually more dangerous than chlorine. The reason the municipal water companies are switching nationwide from chlorines to chloramines is that chlorines and their byproducts are more highly regulated by the government at this point because the health effects are clear and they've been established over a long period. What we understand you mean the negative health effects. The negative health effects. Yes. Thank you. So what we understand is that chloramines have not been tested as extensively. However, there are significant tests that have been done. They just have not been accepted on the level that the chlorine, chlorine tests have been done. So there are many different ways that a municipal water company can disinfect the water supply. However, chloramines are one of the cheapest ways for the municipal companies to disinfect the water and bypass the chlorine regulations. Chloramines are a combination of chlorine and ammonia. So each of them on their own are bad enough and my understanding is that the combination of the two makes a very nasty uh, compound. Chloramines last longer than chlorines, which is also one of the problems. And they're harder to filter on a home level. However, it can be done. So Abby, the people often ask us why a restaurant would have a chloramine filter at all. Why would a, a normal industrial restaurant need that? What we do know is that for a long time restaurants have known that chloramines uh, degrade stainless steel equipment. Pretty, I don't know if it's rapidly, but it's, it's significantly. They're a very powerful oxidizer and they even rust and degrade stainless steel. Which is unbelievable because stainless steel is really supposed to be impervious to, to that type of thing and chloramine we're drinking it, but it's like degrading stainless steel. That, right. That's and, shocking. And so uh, an industrial kitchen that, that steams its food, for example, and has the big stainless steel steamers, they've learned the hard way that it's far better to invest in a chloramine filter than it is to replace your gear. Wow, that's, that's crazy. So two other things. The municipal water company notified us in advance about the chloramine. And they said if you are on dialysis or if you are an owner of pet fish, you want to do something to your water. It's very serious for either the fish will die and dialysis patients will die as well if the water is not significantly treated. And the hospitals already know this and they go through a very important two-stage water filter for their dialysis patients. And wow. been doing this Which for is what time. we reproduced in our hallway, taking our main water supply into the house, running it through a hospital grade, dialysis grade process. That's so, the granulated activated carbon. Right, that's the second filter. It's a granulated activated carbon filter that's good for three years. The other filter we change out every couple of months, uh, the pre-filter. So in closing, I recommend that you contact your municipal water supply company and ask them if they're using chlorine or chloramine to treat your water. They will let you know. That's an important point. And then take steps toward putting in a whole house filter that will address whether you've got chlorine or chloramine because we actually um, absorb it more through our skin because our liver does not filter it. So it's really important that what you put on your skin is as non-toxic as possible. Thank you very much, Abby and Tommy, and uh, hope everyone learned something today. And, all right. Thanks, Craig. Thanks, again. Thanks Bye, everyone. everyone. Bye. Good luck.